morning YouTubers, it is Simon Trains here. I won't be long because our train's due at any minute. I'm at Rougie Town on the Chase Line. And today we're going to go to Oxford and Dickert. Not by a Banbury and Leamington Spa, but by Worcester. Because we're going to try out the Cotswold Line or the HST, hopefully. So sit back and enjoy today's journey. Oh, and just for the record, since I've put the FCC thing behind me at Moorgate now, I'm happy. But FCC, first cut to get, you're still losers. We're now at Bergen New Street. 17632 is taking us on the 0849 to Worcester, which we carry on to Hereford. And over here is 505. Hello. Fourgate Street, waiting for the Tele 51P40 to London Paddington by the Cotswold Line. Stopping at stations like Eatham, Honeybourne, Kingham, all the way to Oxford. After Oxford, this train only goes as far as Reading and Slough, but I'm not interested in that part at the moment. Now we just wait, we don't even know it's going to be 165 turbo. Where it is 166 of class 43 HST. Fortunately, we just have to wait till it arrives. I'm hoping it's the HST. Now, getting down here, well, I only paid a quid really, because I had some rail vouchers to use up. About £15 worth to use. Ooh. So, this journey today from Worcester to Oxford only cost a quid. One pound. Anyway, we're just waiting for our tray now. Time is now, I get my phone out, where is it? 9.47 so I'm just waiting for it to show up. Oh but also today there's problems between Stone, Stoke on Trent, Kids Grove and Alsager due to cable theft you bastards. I hate people when it's the old cable theft. You just disrupt the journey. I remember one time I was at Besker coming back from Guildford about February last year and stuck at Besker Beskert for an hour because of cable fest and they ended up terminating the train at Warsaw. I had to wait to Warsaw for another hour for the next train. Bastards. Anyway, we're just waiting for this first Great Western service now. Hello and welcome to Oxford. This is home of Oxford University, the Oxford Boat Team, and where we speak push. But it doesn't work for me. I speak how I want to speak. Now, we're at Oxford. We nearly got bowled out of the 6A39, 6A49, bowled quickly. 
stupid fucking turbo whatever they are, 165s. Still down there now, should flip it off. But no. Never mind, anyway. Anyway, while we're in Oxford, I got a newspaper head die about Oxford student. My great work lands student in sexism row. Rest of luck with that one. An Oxford student has been criticised for boasting about her breasts trying to win votes. Rest of luck with that. And if you don't believe me. There you go. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they say a channel about looking at girls, which is about trains. Well, technically, these units are actually known it nickname with the girls, so and we nearly got bowled out at 6 day 49 thanks to the 1201 no the 1231 to London Paddington and now we're on at work going to move to Dickot very soon. for the 1425 First Great right, Western now. service to Oxford. Someone's being naughty. Right then, it's time to pay the bills. So, a quick shout out to Dan, Sam, Luke, and all the rest of the members of Top Track is available on YouTube. Basically it's like a Top Gear show but with trains and they race to different terminals and all that. It's quite fun and entertaining actually. You should watch it. That's Top Track. Now, since we are in Oxford, can we speak Hush? Eat posh and have croissants. London Bidland 172340 is at Worcester Fourgate Street, change of plan, instead of going back to Stowe Hill, we'll go back to Wall Street on this one. version off the um, Bromsgrove way going up by the Licky Incline to the Snow Hill line, so the 172. It was 
which that's been the ultra suggestion plan but unfortunately didn't pay off because the train was late. Now as you can see there's a Virgin train to Pendolino in platform 5 which means one thing, Matt Burger New Street. I decided on my lunch, went for a fucking McDonald's. Now 390.034 is going to leave any minute with the 18.30 to London Euston. And over there, just try to sneak away, the 158. Oh, and here comes the Wolverhampton train. Come on, get out of the fucking way. It's Ped Delito, it's not you. That was 323025 anyway. Yeah, well, I'll film this Pendolino in a second to get the trailer, the 1839 back to Rucha Town. Right, we're in the last six minutes of our journey now. We've just left Tennisford. We'll be at Rucha Town very shortly. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, I had a Bradshaw's with me. That's not the case. This to back up for all my notes in. I can tell you what I'm be doing. Um, let's see. Here. Just pick up one. One day I went to Mexico Stadium Warsaw and I got um, 66112, 66113, 66167, 66-08428, which is not there no more, 31-601. So it's got all the notes in, which basically this is a bad choice. Let's see what we mm -hmm. So that little black book that we that we showed about in the last bit of episode five. That you all the and all that. I just wrote something down. Also been on this train since Bergen and not even one guard has come up to check tickets. What a shock. What he's doing in the cab? He's doing this, back in the cab, on his train. So check your tickets. He's doing this. Right, we're now back at Rugeley Town. The end of the journey today would be for Rugeley, Bergen, Worcester, Oxford, Digcut, then back to Oxford, back to Worcester, and then we went over this Snow Hill line back to Birmingham that way, which we end up in Wall Street, and then back here. Now, episode 6 wasn't actually planned today, it was a last minute decision that I made last night. The next episode 6 officially was going to be next Wednesday, March 14th, when it popped down to Ipswich, but now that's going to be episode 7. Now, a few things before I go. One being this headline I read today as well. If you're going by rail this Easter, it might be a bus. Engineer works across Britain will force thousands of rail passengers to use bus replacement services over the Easter weekend. What a fucking twat's not work fail. Oh, we do some engineers. I know we do it on Easter, you twat. Do you think maybe people might be using trains more that day? No, we don't take that into consideration because if you had a brain, you would be fucking dangerous network rail. Anyway, enough of that rant. I hope I get somewhere east of my train. If not, never well can have some of this. Which reminds me. Which reminds me of somebody else that I met on YouTube yesterday. I had a comment from episode 5, Returns More Gate. Now, where the hell did I put the thing? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Well, we'll look at the wrong way for stars. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I wrote it down. I can't even find it now. You're going to have to bear with me, the guys. I know, just let's go to adverts or something. Yeah, advert. Let's roll advert.
suspended time in the book, I actually found the page that I'm after. I had a comment from Return to Wargate last night, and it's from a guy, YouTube user 19857, who's 50 year, 54 years old and from Africa. Right, he said, watched a bit of your video, The Return to Wargate. Don't like your opening lines and your bulger finger inside. What like this? I could do what the hell I like. Like this, 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 and maybe some of fucking this. Right. Have you ever considered that children may be viewing your videos? Well, if you looked at the opening credits, I do put warning contain strong language, you fucking twat. So, am I being considerate? Um, yes. What do you expect? You're South African, or what Africa, whatever. Jobs worth. Poor reflection on yourself and your upbringing. Well, I just got one message for you, 19857. Fuck you. This is my cult of personality. I can say what I want, do what I want, when I like, and how I like. Because you know why? Because I so can. Anyway. Uh, after that rant about that YouTube user, I hope you're not, I hope you watch it because actions speak louder than words, mate. Just go back to your kids dancing in Africa. Anyway, that's enough of me ranting and all that. I hope you enjoyed the show. Mention a few shout outs to Top Track, Dan, San and the, his gang. And well, good night everyone. Looking forward to Ipswich, episode 7. One more thing, first cap subject. You're still losers. Hello, fill the ball gate. Now I can put that right behind us. No more FCC to worry about. No more jobs worth to worry about. Have a good night. <laughs>